Hey y'all. So with the recent DBT announcement yesterday um, that they will now be charging for not only seats, but also for the amount of models you run uh, using their cloud product, I thought it would be timely to show you again how you can run uh, DBT, infinite DBT workflows uh, for free using Cosmos. Um, so basically what Cosmos is, is a package for um, Apache Airflow that basically lets you use Airflow's UI um, as the visualization layer for your DBT models. So instead of you needing to actually go out and purchase a DBT Cloud license, you can stay on DBT Core, use Airflow, which is you know open source, free to download, uh, to actually run and manage your DBT models. Um, you know, you will have to pay for the infrastructure cost of Airflow, um, but in comparison to the cost of uh, you know DBT models, it's negligible. Um, we did some, I did some back of the napkin math, and you could run um, I think about 500k models for like a couple hundred bucks um, versus uh, definitely. So I guess sent a model for 20,000, it's gonna jack up to uh, about five grand there um, for that. So shoot, pick and choose which one's easier. Um, I'm just here to show you cool new stuff and figure out ways to save you money on your data stack. Um, so this is just the landing page I wanted to show, I'll put this link below, but I wanted just to show you where it is so that you can actually download it, run it yourself. Um, and then I'll go into implementation. Um, so before, uh, and actually I won't show you before, I'll show you right now. So with Cosmos, like I said, uh, you can basically treat Airflow as the visualization layer for your DBT models. Um, so you can see each of these task group, these blue boxes, represents um, the two different stages within a dbt model um, so you can see i have three of them or three workflows that then lead into you know a fourth workflow each with multiple steps um, within those workflows um, and so before you know you could run dbt models with airflow but you wouldn't get any real visualization you just use a bash operator to trigger it um, now you get full visibility into you know the different steps your dbt model if something fails here if it succeeds you get that information uh shown to you through the airflow ui um, and it's really simple to set up coding wise as well um, so if we go into the code here um, you'll see that this is leveraging something called a dbt dag um, and if we go just kind of look at the components here you know you have a project config you have airflow db and then you have all so basically all the information around your dbt dag here um, so this is the javel shop path um, and then let's go to our local development environment and i'll show you what all this looks like kind of in the fire folder because that also is very important so essentially what you're doing here um, is you know like i said treating airflow as a visualization layer for dbt um, and you can also build workflows around dbt and also use airflow to manage it but i won't focus on that today um, so you can see with our dags you know we have a uh, dbt dag um, you also have dbt task groups so if you don't just want to have your dbt components for a dag you want to have you know other tasks um, within there then dbt task group is the one for you uh, it's the same thing but it just allows you to have it as kind of a subsection of a dag rather than the entire dag um, and then what you can see here is you know it's referencing a local file path and that's because you'll store all of your dbt models within this folder so you can see i just have all my dbt models here my customer sql staging all the you know models that you just saw within airflow uh, visualized and i just store them here so it's not like you're pulling from any other directory all from the same directory um, and basically just treat this as your free dbt um, cli and visualization tool um, and that's really it um, so you you know set up your dbt models just as you would normally um, and then all you have to do to actually run them with airflow is just either use again dbt dag um, or the dbt task group um, and just fill out your project config profile config execution configuration um, and that's really it uh, and then for the task group you have to set a group id so it's really simple all you do is make your models just as you normally would there's no like cribbing them so they'll work with airflow these will work with dbt models out of the box um, just visualize them all the different components again without any setup from you um, and there is no cost to use this tool um, it is completely open source. Um, obviously, you know, running any kind of compute system <laughs> costs money. So, you know, you will have to pay whatever your cloud costs are for, you know, running your airflow environment or running it on your local machine, your electricity, I guess. Um, but the key thing here is you have 
almost all the components that dbt cloud offers uh but you don't have to pay uh extortionate prices because it looks like that vc money printer has turned off for them um, and they got to figure out how they're going to make money um, so anyways that's all i have for you all today um, go check it out use it um, and get that free dbt uh, so anyways hope you like this data guy out